bright duty every student matters today we are going to continue with unit 5 of class 12th main course book here we are going to discuss about writing skills in which we will learn about advertisement you all must be familiar with advertisement very well if we talk about you might have seen the different examples of advertisement in print media or other media sources if we talk about advertisement in print media you might have seen the different advertisement in newspapers magazines related to different products and other important items or any other uh, sort of thing that we talk about here we are going to talk about two sort of one is classified one and the another one is displayed advertisement if we talk about displayed advertisement that is in the form of the poster as we are framing the poster in that form it is being given most of the time you have seen it in newspapers uh, for any of the product okay classified advertisement if we talk about there is separate column for that in the given newspaper in which it is mentioned so we are going to talk about the advertisement today so let's start with that and before proceeding we'll uh, discuss about that what is the important of advertisement advertisement is something that is adding the value to your product it is the marketing here if we talk about advertisement is an marketing strategy and big companies and uh, the big uh, entrepreneur if we talk about they are using advertisement just to give the advantage to their company or to their particular product so let's start with today's topic that is given in your mcb book in your main course book while reading a newspaper or magazine you might have come across pieces of writing which are called advertisement so we have already discussed about that the different advertisement you might have seen if not up till now so you just simply have to go through the newspapers or the magazines and then turn the pages somewhere you would be getting different sort of advertisement in the newspaper or the magazine these advertisement are written for the purpose of communicating information so what is the main purpose to communicate and we call it advertisement as the mass communication the part of the mass communication it is not one to one communication it is a mass communication that we are doing with the help of newspapers or magazines or different sources here the main purpose is communicate information about a particular event or product or for eliciting response sought by the advertiser from interested parties where you are looking where the particular company or the organization would like to focus on the interested parties so for them also they are issuing the different advertisement in the newspaper or magazines or other sources in this unit basically we talk about will we shall learn how to draft classify advertisement as i have already told you advertisement can be of two types one is classified one and the another one is display so here in your syllabus we are going to discuss about the classified advertisement mainly which are smaller and typically do not contain pictures logos any sort of maps etc only the words are being used here and in newspaper or magazine if you are giving the advertisement they are counting or they are charging according to the words used in the given advertisement here when you will open up the newspaper any of the local newspaper if you are going to open up or the national newspaper you will find out the classified columns in the particular newspaper in that particular uh, column you will find out the different classified it related to job recruit or any uh, related to the situation vacant situation wanted for uh, uh, matrimonial sort of so all these are the example that you, you can refer to get the better idea that what are these classified 
advertisement clear and the main part you have to keep in mind while you are talking about the classified advertisement these are smaller in size and does not include any sort of picture logos or other maps etc some of the common advert types of some of the common types of advertisements are given below we'll talk about that also that these are the common advertisement that we can find in newspaper or other magazines related to classified advertisement so first one is given here situation wanted or situation vacant while you are doing the advertisement for job here as a employer or as a employee where as a employer here you can give the advertisement for situation vacant and you are calling the interested parties or interested candidate to contact you here as a employer as the employer of the organization of or any particular institution you are giving the situation vacant advertisement and mentioning that in your company or in your organization or in your institution there is a vacancy and for that you are calling interested candidates clear situation wanted here if you yourself would like to give the advertisement as an individual if you want somebody to contact you in that case you are giving situation wanted that what kind of job you are looking for so basically these two are related to jobs or the recruitment only second one is uh, related to lost and found or missing where you have lost something or you have missed your pet or uh, your documents or anything so many things can be there that can be included in that or any family member or found also can be used if you have found any child or uh, if you have found some documents or some other things so that can be used under this heading that can be written under lost and found heading third one for sale and purchase if you would like to sell if you would like to sell something for that you are mentioning under the sale and purchase purchase means if you would like to purchase any villa bungalow flat or looking for any property so sale and purchase not only property here your property and other assets if you would like to mention here car your uh, other belongings the asset will come under the sale and purchase clear to let and for rent both are same if you would like to give your uh, accommodation for rent purpose to let so that will come under that accommodation wanted if here any sort of uh, you are looking for any space for living so that will come under accommodation accommodation that will come under accommodation wanted we are looking for 2 bhk or 3 bhk or uh, in society you are looking for flat or something like that that will come under accommodation wanted then matrimonial advertisements are related to marriage while you are looking for bride or groms where you will mention here these are the different uh, these are the common types of these classified advertisement they have mentioned here clear each and everything should be clear and again i would like all of you to go through the newspapers or the different sources where you can get the examples of these kinds of advertisement then it will be easier for you to understand it in better way and then it will help you out because more and more reading or more and more advertisement you will go through that will help you to get the idea that how to frame your own advertisements clear so hopefully it is clear to each and every one now next we can see some of the examples are given the sample advertisements are given just for your knowledge so that you can get the idea that how you have to write it down firstly the title you have given here what is the title that is your main heading main heading you have mentioned here then receptionist wanted for three star hotel so that is your sub 
heading. So that is actually the format. Your main title or the main heading will be there. Then your subheading will be there. And after that, you will mention the body of your advertisement. Clear? So let's start with that situation vacant. Here, the organization is uh, giving the advertisement that situation vacancy is there in their organization or an institution or uh, this hotel they have mentioned here. Subheading for which post, for what, uh, which particular post the vacancy is there. That is for receptionist for three star hotel. Here. The subheading that we are going to give, it should not be lengthy. It should be short and very precise. Here. The phrasal words you have to use here. Again, phrasal words you are use, supposed to use here. Then how you are going to start with that? Directly, we are going to mention that what actually you want. Wanted a smart, efficient receptionist for the front desk of leading three-star hotel. Clear? This thing is clear that, that the idea we have got directly from the question given to us. Now, qualification. Because obviously, if you are uh, calling the candidate for a particular post, you might have some criteria for selection. So, that you are going to mention here that qualification, graduation, graduate, 22 to 40 years in all age limit is not required but wherever it is required you need to mention that fluent in english and hindi knowledge of foreign language will be desirable should be willing to work in ships interested candidates may apply with resume and recent passport photographs to hr manager clear so sim it is very simple, very short, you have to keep the, because the word limit will be 50. Clear? It should not exceed 50 words. So, accordingly, you are going to mention about that. So, simply you have mentioned the qualification, what are the things you are looking for and uh, the language, knowledge you have already mentioned, uh, should be willing to do the work and shift that you have mentioned. And then at the end, you have mentioned that interested candidates may apply with resuming and recent passport photographs to HR manager. Trident Hotel, Main Market, Kohima, pin code number you have given and the contact number. Clear. So hopefully this example was clear to each and everyone. The way you have written the, the sentences, if we talk about short and simple language will be used clear because here you are not going to make the things complicated it, is, it should be for each and everyone to that uh, will help them out to understand in better way that what actually you are looking for clear so the short, uh, language we talk about it should be the sentences should be short very precise one simple language you have to use and the direct one clear now we will uh, move to the second example, the second uh, sample that they have given for advertisement that is missing notice, clear, that is related to missing. And the subheading you have given here, 5 year old boy Martin, this is related to missing boy complaint, they have uh, missing boy advertisement they have mentioned here, missing since 24 June 2017, my nephew Martin aged 5, then height, weight, complexion you have mentioned here, fair complexion, straight black hair parted in the center, then other details you will, this is the, here you have mentioned the physical features, here, after that you have mentioned that last scene wearing a blue checked shirt, with white shorts and red shoes with chinwin low. So that is the identification mark that you are giving or some even for the physical feature you can give any identification mark if you think that you have to mention. Okay, beside that here if we talk about the dress you are mentioning that uh, last seen wearing what color of what kind of dress has an injury scar on right elbow that you can mention this I was talking about the identification. This is the identity, identification 
anyone with information will be suitably rewarded because if somebody is bringing your lost thing or lost person to you definitely you have to mention this line at the end that uh, anyone with information will be suitably awarded please contact then you will mention the name of the person or the address to whom you have to contact and then even the contact number can be given clear the phone number the contact number can be given here so now we are moving to the third sort of advertisement here they are giving you amber homes your gateway to a dream lifestyle this is the advertisement they are doing here and they are mentioning about some sort of accommodation so how they have started at just rupees 3499 per square feet this is the figure they have used instead of taking it in the round figure they have mentioned it is it could be as 3500 but no just to make it more attractive just to uh, attract or influence more and more people it has been written as 3499 you all must be knowing uh, you all must be aware about this kind of marketing strategy when the amount is if we talk about if the amount is written 1000 many of us we are not going to purchase that but when it will be written right 999 we would be thinking that okay it is within our budget so we should go for that so same strategy that we call as the marketing strategy we call it as the marketing strategy and that has been used here per square feet own the house of your dreams prime location near highway one or that you can mention one and two 2.5 bhk flats with spacious balconies elevators well lit common areas manicured lawns parking scale parking space which is one of the most uh, influencing feature while you are looking for uh, while you are uh, trying to sell your property so that parking space you can mention allotted to each apartment at no extra cost amenities including playing areas banquet hall gym swimming pool park all these construction complete so here that is you are mentioning that it is not under the con construction the accommodation that you are look you are trying to sell is already complete visit site at this address you have given here where you would like them or even the contact uh, name of the person to whom you have to contact can be mention clear so hopefully it was clear to each and every one and here if we talk about these two are the classified one basically and the third sample advertising advertising the sale of the property is we call as the promotional advertisement clear here we are doing the promotion of something if you are promoting your product if you are promoting something your flat or uh, any of the society you would like to promote so that is being called as the promotional advertisement in this type of advertisement the product and the company are highlighted so while you might have seen that many of the companies those who are launching new products and whenever they are giving the advertisement related to that so that will be called as the promotional advertisement many of the company just launching their new product beauty product or food product or anything any of the product uh related to people so that will be taken as a promotional product uh, that will be taken as a promotional advertisement and here the company name will be highlighted here you are going to highlight the company as well as the product that which is the company who is the main uh, like if we talk about who is the one who is launching this product so the name of the company and which product actually you are launching will be highlighted here so hopefully it is clear the three samples we have taken here we have already talked about the different kinds of or the different types of advertisement and based on that we have taken few examples here now let's proceed further okay now here we talk about 
few points are there that we need to remember that we have to keep in our mind what are these points that you need to remember and need to keep in your mind while you are working on advertisement clear advertisement first thing the most important thing here it should be very short and precise clear that is one of the most important thing because in the beginning only we have talked about the word limit that it should not exceed more than 50 words so it should be very short and the precise one we have to keep in mind that advertising cost money which is why the advertiser will want to convey the maximum information in the least space because advertisement if we talk about is not free of cost if you are doing the advertisement through the pamphlet to a newspaper or any of the magazine you have to pay for that and the charges are very high so obviously if any of the company would like to <laughs> sorry if any of the company would like to give the advertisement definitely they have to pay for that so they try to convey the maximum information in limited space or the least space so here they try as few words as possible they try to take only the main words no detailing nothing only the keywords are being used in advertisement so use of keywords or lines being used no detailing is required clear here if we talk about the first keep the language simple and clear that also we have discussed the language of your advertisement should be very simple and clear while making it interesting for the reader but somewhere it should be interesting the attractive one the words you are using so any of the attractive word you can use or like if you are looking for any uh, candidate so wanted can be written like uh, capital letter so it's up to you that how you are going to present your advertisement secondly if we talk about use of correct grammar is not an absolute necessity because here they are not focusing on the grammatical mistakes and phrases and expression are sufficient here but as a part of your literature definitely uh, you are not going to uh, as a part of uh, advertisement as the part of your literature okay if you are doing the grammatical mistake that will not be considered but while as a professional you are giving the advertisement so most of the time they are not looking for this grammatical mistake and all the reason being because their main focus the grammar they are not using in that way they are using the phrases and expression and those phrases and expression if you are using without the use of the appropriate or the proper grammar proper grammar so that will be considered but as a student you should not do any grammatical mistake in that the next one the use of abbreviations symbols and numerals may be made abbreviation here if we talk about short forms short forms or keywords can be used symbols can be used numerals may be used every time like if you would like to mention uh, anything related to like uh, one lakh you are mentioning for that no need to write down o n e one and then lakh it can be written as like this also clear and abbreviation like if you are looking for educated educated word you are using so it can be taken as like this okay because each and every word will count okay, accordingly the charges will be uh, there so that these are the few features that you need to know about the advertisement and how you have to frame it use punctuations judiciously means punctuation marks you have to use judiciously it should not be that uh, the whole uh, body you are writing without the use of any punctuation which can uh which will not be considered the correct format clear you have to use the punctuation mark full stop where you have to give any exclamate any sort of exclamatory sign if required okay so that you have to take care of if we talk about there is no absolute format of advertisement remember to insert your advertisement in a box that is another most important part that box must be 
there it must be enclosed within the box heading must be there which is which uh, one outlining the type of advertisement like here the main heading that you are giving situation vacant situation wanted matrimonial or anything accordingly clear you have to give the main heading that what kind of or what type of advertisement it is and the subheading will be given just below that and that subheading is about the content of the advertisement that what actually is going to be the content of your advertisement look at the format given below and compare it with the sample here you can see that advertisement sample the format has been given we have already done that when we were doing the sample we have seen that how the format was main heading then which will include the type of advertisement then the second part is going to be your subheading which will focus on the content of your advertisement and then the main part body which will come under the word limit should not exceed 50 words it should be within again i'm reminding you it should not exceed 50 words so you have to take care of that clear based on this advertisement activity On the basis of the information provided, draft suitable classified advertisement for the situation. So, whatever the example we have seen or the sample we have taken, whatever the example we have seen or the sample we have gone through, okay, including that plus the key points that we have discussed, we need to keep in mind while we are framing these advertisements. So, let's start with the question number 1. Here, we need to read the question first and then we need to keep in mind that what are the things should be considered like box must be there, clear heading we have to write, subheading should be there, then the main content or the body. So, these are the few things that you need to consider and what kind of language and the uh, phrases you are going to use, the use of the punctuation marks, all should be considered when you will start writing your advertisement based on the given question. So, let's start with that. You are Alex of 204 MR Residences, Expressway Road, Kohima, pin code number. You have lost your briefcase while traveling by the New East Express train from New Delhi to Kohima. The briefcase contains valuable documents including your birth certificate issued by KCN Government Hospital, Guwahati. Draft an advertisement in not more than 50 words to be published in a newspaper. So, here you can see the word limit they have given to you. Somewhere it is mentioned, somewhere not. So, whether it is mentioned or not, you have to Keep in your mind that it should not exceed more than 50 words. Clear. Now, come back to the main part of that. That while we are writing this, you have to address yourself as Alex. Clear. This is your address and all the things they have mentioned here. And what is the problem? You have lost. You have lost something. So, you need to recall that what is going to be the main heading for your advertisement. Yes, exactly. It should be lost under the lost advertisement under the lost and found heading. It should come. Then what you have lost? Then you will mention about a briefcase which was containing the things, your documents, including your birth certificate and other things. And while you were traveling by the New East Express train. From New Delhi to Kohima. That is uh, important to mention because while you are mentioning this thing, this information given in your question itself, then it will be easier for the reader to find out. Means if uh, any of the traveler of the same train might have found, so they will uh, keep their focus on that or they would be giving any sort of clue to you or some other kind of help can be provided to the person who is writing the advertisement. So, let's start with that. Here, we are going to start with the advertisement. So, we'll mention here, lost and 
found. Question you need to refer in between because until and unless you are not looking for the question, it will be difficult for you to uh, frame your advertisement here. Lost and found. Then what you have lost? Lost. Here you will mention about briefcase. Clear yeah, that was your main heading lost and found. And what you have lost? Lost briefcase. Then you will start with the detail here a black briefcase has been lost, has been lost at New East Express train all these uh, detail i'm referring the question itself and you also have to refer your question while you are writing this thing from new delhi to kohima clear and when you have to give that detail also so any of the date you can mention on uh, 4th may 2020 20 or 2021 whatever you would like to mention here accordingly you can mention clear yeah. then we will refer the next part where in the question it is given that what does it contain so you will mention it contains it contains valuable documents including you will mention including birth certificate issued by KCN government. Here abbreviation can be used. Government Hospital Guwahati. Then you will continue. Finder may. Finder will be awarded if you would like to mention. Clear, it's up to you whether you would like to mention this line or not. Finder will be awarded. Please contact. Then, what was your name? You will mention that Alex 204 HR residence. And then uh, the address you will give for him and all. And then phone number you can mention here. That the contact number you can give. Now the most important part of your advertisement. What I'm missing here? Yes, actually you have to enclose this within the box. Here it should be within the box. So hopefully it is clear to each and everyone that while you are talking about the advertisement. We have taken the first example here, the first question that was given for our practice. Here the Alex was the one as an Alex, as Alex, you were supposed to write down the advertisement where you have lost your black color briefcase, which was containing your documents, important documents, including your birth certificate and where you lost it while you were moving in, at train, while you were moving from New Delhi to Kohima. Clear? So these details were there and based on that we have mentioned lost and found the main heading we have given here. Then lost briefcase is going to be here. Let me tell you main heading it is. That is your subheading then. Then you have started mentioning related to the content, the body which is already mentioned in your Question. A black briefcase has been lost at New East Express train from New Delhi to Kohima on 4th May 2020. It contains valuable documents including birth certificate. Here it's up to you that a few of the words you would like to highlight. Okay, so that can be done. Issued by KCN Government Hospital, Guwahati. Finder will be awarded if you would like to otherwise you simply can mention that finder may contact you please contact alex address already given in your question you have to refer that only and the contact number can be given it's not the compulsion it's up to you okay where you have to focus format of your advertisement and the main 
content what you are writing nothing you have to add on extra from your side most of the things are already and clearly given in your question if you are reading your question thoroughly understanding that it will be easy for you that what actually you need to frame clear so now let's move to the second one now let's move to the second question given for practice here as manager of passion crazy a family clothing showroom in kohima draft a suitable advertisement to be published in the local dailies offering 30% end of year discount on all garments so hopefully it is clear once again you have to read it thoroughly because you have to grab the information that what is given in your question and then based on that only it will be easy for you to frame your advertisement clear so here we can mark few things i mark that you are the manager manager of what fashion crazy and that is a family clothing showroom where in kohima okay and what you have to draft you have to draft an advertisement for local dailies what you are doing here what actually you have to mention here you are offering 30% end your sale okay 30% discount on end of year sale you might have seen so many such sort of advertisement in newspapers also or some hoardings or somewhere else where the particular showroom or some companies are providing you the offer or the discount the year end discount or the season and discount they are giving okay so you need to recall all these and look for these as many as the example you can because it is going to help you out to get the idea so let's start with that one here this is a this is a, we are not talking about the display advertisement so need to make the uh, need to keep yourself clear here we are talking about the classified advertisement so no use of any logos pictures maps nothing images nothing will be used only the words will be written and that should be within the word limit okay so let's start with the second question here here we have to read the question again okay you are the manager of passion crazy a family clothing showroom in kohima you have to draft the advertisement fine clear so here we are going to give the heading here the direct main heading uh, we are giving here sub heading we are taking here crazy so here the main heading the sub heading we are taking so here we are going to start with the heading here as crazy discount 30% off because if the attractive heading you are giving the buyers will be influenced okay so crazy discount 30% off so that kind of hinting you have to give 30% we have taken because already it was given in your question so here in the question you will see it is mentioned end of year discount so we'll mention we'll start our advertisement with that only end of year end of year discount on all garments then you will mention you will explain this uh, title what is the meaning of that that fashion crazy because you have to mention the name of the showroom also fashion crazy offers 30% of end of year sale clear then you can mention be now what you want you want buyer to come to your showroom so you will mention be there here they you are just influencing you are asking the buyer to come so you can mention be there to end the year with blast any catchy slogan or the phrase can be used that be there to end the year with blast and this line can be highlighted if you would like to highlight this 30% off 
that you can write in capital letter it's up to you clear then you will mention about where the address you are going to give here so that address you can uh, mention here kohima branch again you don't have to write down the name of the showroom because that you have already mentioned here clear kohima branch abc complex then a pin code number that you would like to give okay or the address you mentioned first floor so that's it so that was the advertisement related to your this is the promotion you are doing and asking the buyers to come to be the part of discount that you are offering to the customers clear so we'll go through the question once again here you were supposed to be the manager and where you are offering the 30% discount for the end of year sale the, on all the garments so that same thing you have mentioned here crazy discount 30% off you have mentioned here crazy discount 30% off end of year discount on all garments fashion crazy offers 30% this 30% off end of year sale be there to end the year with blast so any of the such sort of uh, catchy slogan can be used kohima branch abc complex first floor okay so here even the discount 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 can be given or it can be written here at the top it's up to you so hopefully it was clear and uh, we are done with the advertisement activity clear more and more practice is required on your part firstly just refer newspapers and other sources where you can get the idea of different kind of uh, these advertisement classified advertisement and then start doing the practice and start framing the different questions on your own 